for me as well, right? For men in general too, like getting all of a sudden I, and then I see D, your body changes, you look a little bit different. But I could imagine for women, because like beauty is more like of a, a topic, you know, <laughs> that it might make you look in a way less perfect. I mean, you know. Uh, so I could see that the, the accepting that could be more difficult for women. Uh, and I'm generalizing now, right? But how was it for you actually <laughs> to receive an ICD? Yeah, so definitely um, when I, I was dancing at the time and so I was having these syncope episodes. So when they wanted to put the defibrillator in me, they wanted to go with a different model than Hannah had because they wanted to put one in me that where the wire didn't go oh, in yeah. my heart, but instead went around my heart. And this was due because of... Um, them thinking that if I was still dancing and maybe somebody lifted me or grabbed me wrong, that the lead or the wire that goes in the heart or around it could get pulled out of the heart um, and and puncture my heart. So we went, they went with a bigger device. And I remember I'm sitting there for like the consultation and he hands me like a a device and he goes oh but it, it's gone down in size and i'm looking at this brown chunk of metal and i'm literally like oh my gosh that is that's going uh, in my body like i'm what and he's like but don't worry like this is like a model from a few years ago so it's gone gotten smaller yeah no it did barely got smaller yeah. like maybe like a half a centimeter mm. um so i go into do the surgery day and and during the process leading up, I, I'm kind of glad that they kind of just called me and told me I was having surgery next week instead of thinking about it too much because I grew up as a dancer. Like, I, I kid you not, I did have an eating disorder. At, at one point, I'm, I was the girl who'd freak out about a pimple on my face, and I still do. And so now I thought, oh, my gosh, now my body is going to have these scars, and I'm going to be flawed, and people are going to think I'm ugly, and I'm deformed, and I'm going to look weird, and I'm never going to be able to wear a bikini yeah. again. And all of that was running through my mind. And I'm kind of glad I didn't get to sit with those thoughts too long and the surgery happened. And then after the device was implanted, and I don't know if you've seen images on our Instagram page, but mine sticks out pretty fairly on, on my side, on my left side. And I remember when I finally came to and the surgeon came in and he goes, oh, well, we didn't realize how tiny you were. We had to play with getting the device to fit. And I'm like, no. Do not tell me this right now. I'm like, this is the last thing I now yeah. want to hear. Now I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, how do I look? Like now I probably look like a total freak. And then it was like three, three to four-ish weeks until I finally actually got to see my scars and see the defibrillator. And I can remember standing in front of the mirror and just smiling so big because I absolutely love my scars. I think they're beautiful now. Um, and through this journey, I've definitely had people like, um, like, be grossed out by it and and not accept it and that's totally fine but I'm glad that I found it myself to accept it and to love it and um, to embrace it and I think the biggest thing too that I always remember why I needed that defibrillator is knowing that it saved my sister's life and I, if you know if she didn't have mm. it I wouldn't have her here with me today and so why would I you know give up the such negative thoughts of not wanting to put a defibrillator in me when I know I, I needed yeah, it yeah yeah 